Right. Hi, everyone. My name is Petrus, and today we will be learning about hex files. So we all know that the basics of microcontroller programming are that you have some blink.c, you upload it to the microcontroller, and it's going to blink a little LED. And this always works perfectly. So what's actually happening inside the microcontroller is that you're loading in stuff to the program flash. And based on the various processor instructions, which you can read about um, in rather a long data sheet, it's going to be doing things like you know, look at register you know, memory address A and compare that to memory address B. If they're the same, jump to this other part of program flash. And really the thing to know here is that it's all numbers, right? So everything is broken down into numbers uh, that the microcontroller uses to execute these instructions. So going into the upload process in a bit more detail, you start out with the .c file and it goes through a compiler. And this is basically just a magic step, but the compiler puts out a .hex file. That .hex file is then used in some sort of upload process. Um, there's a bunch of different ways of doing this. Uh, not going to be talking about that here, but in the end you go into the marker controller and it does what you want. Now, the important thing to know is that this hex file is something that you can view, right? And this hex file basically uh, includes all of the instructions that the uploader needs in order to write the correct numbers to the, the memory, the flash memory of the market controller. And so if you drag and drop the hex file into Notepad++, you can actually see every single number um, that, that's being commanded to the, the uploader. And so a typical line will look like this. And so the first thing is just a, a line start command. After that, you have a certain number of bytes that are going to be uh, written. And so what you'll notice is that in hexadecimal, this is hex 10, and this is 16 bytes long. So then you have a memory address, you have a type, so this is a command that's being given, and you have the data and checksum. So putting it into English, what you're saying is that I am going to write, so the red is type of command, 10 bytes of data to memory address zero. The data I'm going to be writing is this. And so this is a combination of uh, you know, processor commands and configuration stuff. And this data is validated using this checksum. Um, if you don't know about checksums, they're basically just a quick way of making sure that none of these numbers are uh, have been flipped or corrupted. And there's a few different types of lines, but in general, uh, the ones that you're going to be looking at are 00, zero which is data, basically just saying this is a data line that you need to write. Uh, at the very end of the file, you're going to see a 0, 01. And then 0, 02, uh, you, know, you can imagine that you can see here you only have like two bytes of address space, which is not enough for, for most processors. And so essentially what you do is you can basically say, okay, so you're starting at zero. Now you're going to be starting at 1000. And so you'll be 1005, right? So you'll be going, starting with 1000 and then incrementing on the, the address. Three, four, five, uh, don't worry about them. Uh, they're kind of processor specific to, to various things. But hopefully uh, with this video, you have a better understanding of what a hex file is and what all of these numbers actually mean. Uh, so yeah, thank you for, for watching.